Hey guys, Alex here from AlexVegas.com and today I'm doing another mini review on a mouth tape product. This product is called Myotape. I've been using it for the last week now. Uh, if you haven't seen my other videos, I've been mouth taping for a few years and I wanted to compare all the most popular products and even some of the most, well, some of the uncommon products on the market. So, uh, this is the second product I am testing and I will be testing as many as I can get my hands on and applying my five part uh, scoring system to see who, see what product is the best and of course what product is the best for you. So I've been using this for the last week now uh, and I have lots of thoughts. Uh, very, very interesting and unique product. As you can tell, uh, there's a mouth tape, yeah, it has a hole in the middle, which uh, I'm going to explain very soon. So. Um, Hang around as I share my thoughts, uh, give you a bit of an overview on this product and um, yeah, talk about how this is very unique in the mouth taping space. Alright, so what do you need to know about this product? Well, Myotape is an Australian company and these strips or, or tape, I, I don't really know what you call them, strips? Let's call them strips. These strips were designed by Patrick McCowan. Now, Patrick is a Patakio breathing instructor and is well known for his um, book uh, The Oxygen Advantage, a really good book if you're new to mouth breathing, mouth taping, nose breathing and all that sort of stuff, I highly recommend you check that out. As I mentioned, these strips are different to your typical like Somni -net, Somni fix strips which cover the, the mouth and, and tie the lips together. This one um, actually goes around the lips and leaves a hole in the middle. So. That's designed for a couple of reasons. Um, the main advantage of that though, is you can actually use it during the day uh, when you're talking and, and working. And, and and of course, if you use it at nighttime, then it means you can still breathe through the mouth if, if you have to. So it, it is a little bit different um, and I'll get into my thoughts around that soon. So how it works is the tape itself actually has a bit of stretch in it. And what that does is if you were to open your mouth with it on, the stretch sort of encourages the jaw and the mouth to close again, um, thus helping you to shut your mouth and breathe through the nose. It is made from cotton, a cotton fabric, and it's very sticky, and um, a latex-free hypoallergenic glue, which is great because I personally, like if I put a um, band-aid on and um, it's not the hypoallergenic version, within a day or two, or any form of tape, within a day or two I start getting a really bad rash. Um, so I've been using this for a week now overnight and haven't had any itch, which is, which is good, any rash, which is good. Let's pull up my five round scoring system for these mouth tapes and um, we'll see how the myotape stands up. So for the first round we look at stickability and this is how well it sticks and how well it stays on and whether you can reuse it overnight. Now it is very sticky. I mean you can see it here it's just oh touch it it's stuck to my fingers and as I show you there that that right there is a problem I have with it. It is so sticky that when it sticks upon itself on itself it's actually very hard to get back. There we go I got it. Um, but because of that elastic sort of stretch it has if it does stick to itself and then you try to pull it apart, when it does come apart it will spring back and stick somewhere else and it, to be honest, that is very very frustrating. The good thing is it will stay on your mouth uh, all night, there's no issues with that. Um, let me show you exactly how I do put it on by the way so you can see it. Not perfect but it's a bit ridiculous looking and I know, I'll get to that soon. Let's just leave it on for a moment to show that I can talk with it on. So yes, it is very, very sticky. Now, I didn't have any problems with it coming off overnight. Um, I did reuse this for a couple of nights. Uh, by the third night, it was starting to get pretty sloppy. So I'd really only say there's, there's two nights worth here. Um, the problem with this though is getting it off the um, packaging can be a bit tricky and if you do if you do sort of pull it the wrong way or it catches on something that elastic spring um the elastic stretch in it i, I don't know there were a few times i got really frustrated because it would just pop back and stick somewhere else and then you're trying to peel that off and another bit would stick it, it did my head in um but saying that it is very sticky it is very sticky there is no issues with it coming off during the night once it is on so that's good, but due to those other problems, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5 for this first round. On the safety front, this is a no-brainer. It's a simple 5 out of 5. You can't get any better than this. Put it on, there's no risk of choking or anything like that. There's no risk of it coming off because of how sticky it is. You can get up in the night and, and drink. Um, 
if you have to say something, if you need to talk, if you need to yell out for whatever reason, you can do that, no issues at all. Because again, it goes around the lips, around the mouth, and doesn't block the mouth as such. So, five out of five for uh, safety. Plus also, it has the hypoallergenic glue. Okay, so next up we have practicality. How well does it work? How well does it do what it's meant to do? Now, now like I said, my tape actually say you can use this during the day and it is great. If you notice you're sitting at your desk or reading a book or whatever and you're breathing through the mouth, you can use something like this to help you start that retraining process to get you breathing through the nose. Uh, and this would be a good product to use during the day because you can still talk, you can still drink, like if you're working from home, you can take a phone call, you can grab a cup of coffee, whatever, that's fine. Um, and in fact, you can use it if you're an athlete, say for instance, you want to train nose breathing while you're running or, or rowing or whatever. Um, so those are all good products because if you, uh, those are all good features because if you do need to take a big gasp of air or have a drink of water, you can do that. So that is good. But I'm looking at this more from the overnight point of view, like how well does this help you nose breathe during the night? Now, I have to say I wasn't very impressed. I, I can see how it works because when you do put it on, you do feel that tension through the stretch in the fabric trying to pull your mouth shut. Like if you open your jaw widely with it on, you can feel that natural, well not natural, you can feel that pull, that tension trying to pull you back. So I do get that and I put it on I thought, oh, this is gonna be cool, like if I do open my mouth, Surely it will just snap back shut. But what I found is I was waking up during the night with quite a dry mouth, a um, little bit of a headache, all the signs that uh, I have been mouth breathing overnight. And this is kind of weird because I have been mouth taping for years now, m many years. And I always thought that after a period of time, like I would retrain the body and I wouldn't need the tape. But that's obvious, well, that hasn't worked out to be true. And even with this, um, I thought it may be enough just to you know, that little bit of encouragement to push me back to close my mouth and uh, breathe through the nose doesn't seem to be the case at all. So that is a, a big, big um, disappointment. It may be okay though for a newbie into the space, someone who's new into nose breathing um, and new to wearing mouth tapes for instance. So it could be a good option for them if they don't want to seal their lips shut from day one, maybe you use this for a month or so just to get used to it and maybe that will be all you need. Maybe I'm a really bad, um, mouth breather and thus I need to pretty much duct tape my lips shut at night. I, I don't know. I mean, you could give it a shot, but for me, uh, I, to be honest, I didn't even use it for a whole week. I wanted to use these products one week at each before I did a review. I think after night five, I actually, I went to the next product I'm going to be reviewing. So be sure to subscribe to see that one. Um, but I knew it wasn't working for me overnight. So given all of that, I have to give it a one out of five because Hey, I'm scoring this on the ability to, uh, restrict your mouth breathing so you're breathing through the nose. So I have to give it one out of five. Sure there are those benefits that the other tapes don't have, um, especially for daytime use. And I should also mention they do a children's version. So, um, you know, if your child needs some help or um, is, is doing a lot of mouth breathing. All right, next up we look at price. So a packet of myotape comes with 90 strips. So inside you see, you get these sheets. Each sheet has six strips on it. And one packet costs 35 Australian dollars, which is uh, about $26 US for a packet of 90, which works out to be about 29 cents US per strip. So 29 cents a night, which to be honest is a really good price. And for that reason, I'm giving it a four out of five. The might take a four out of five for the price category. You can buy multiple packets at a time. I think if you buy two packets at a time, the price comes down even more, which is great. They are, being an Australian based company, you get free shipping if you're in Australia. I don't know what the shipping was to America, so apologies, you'd have to check that uh, yourself. You can you can have a look at myotape, myotape.com. Um, and yeah, regarding multi-night use, I think you could probably get two nights out of this, maybe three if you weren't taking it off and on during the night. But the main thing is how well you can get it on and off without it all clinging and sticking back together. If you can do that, yeah, you'd get three nights. If you can't, maybe one or two. I, I tried three nights, but I was like, this is ridiculous. It was just getting too frustrating. All right, so in the last round, we look at everything else. In particular, I look at appearance. I look at ease of application. I look at whether you can talk through it. I look at the mess and the packaging involved that, and with the product, and also um, how suitable it is for travel. So let's start this start. Uh, appearance, like I said before, it is, um, yeah, <laughs> let me put it on again. <laughs> oh, 
I, I don't really need to say much about it. Uh, let me just say, my wife has seen me do some funny things over the years and still laughs at my mouth tape at night. But when, she's, when she saw me with this on, she just shook her head and she said, oh my God. It does look ridiculous. I, the bright orange colouring um, doesn't help. Uh, if you look at some of the images on the website, you know, even those are quite ridiculous. Again though, we're doing this for health and hey, like if, if, if your partner really loves you, they should be supportive and all that sort of jazz. And um, that's fine. I mean, hey, if this was the best product ever, I would happily wear it. Sure, I wouldn't wear it out in public, but uh, saying that I'm doing a YouTube video. so. Um, but you know what I mean, it is a little bit silly looking. Uh, if you get up in the middle of the night and you forget it's on and you're staying with friends or something, you, you're going to get some laughs, that's for sure. So I can't give it the point for appearance, I'm sorry. Um, and it is a bit unusual that it's like bright orange. Maybe if it was more of a tan skin color, it might be a little bit better. Or even like a translucent sort of, I don't know. Anyway, I can't give it the point for appearance. All right, next up, we look at ease of application. I've touched on this a little bit before. Um, so I want to read from my notes. What I do when I'm using these products, I, whenever I have issues or thoughts, because it's typically late at night or during the night or first thing in the morning, I jot them down on my phone. So when it comes to reviewing them, I, you know, I've got all those thoughts that I otherwise would have forgotten. So I want to read this uh, quote from you. My notes read, uh, application is a refined art. Getting the mouth and lips shut properly, applying it to the right spot, can be really tricky. The key is a good stick under the bottom lip and try not to get the sticky sides touching each other. And um, yeah, that, that sums it up perfectly because it is it is so sticky, right? Um, and that springy fabric, I, see, see there? Like if you just, if it slips from your finger for whatever reason, then it comes in on itself, touches itself. And to pull it off, because it's so sticky, it's, um, it's rather tricky. So now I, I've got it on my thumbs, right? Now what I want to do is, is pull it apart, and I, not only am I trying to pull it apart to, to surround my mouth, I've got to pull it over and above. So you're pulling it all sort of directions. Um, the best way i found is you, you put your thumb, your two thumbs, like right along the side, and you can pull it over. And then you've got to shut your lips, mouth, and, and what i found is you actually want to get the bottom bit really low or quite high sorry on the bottom lip okay so and I don't even know if that's perfect but it is it's pretty good actually I can feel if I open my mouth it pings back or maybe a bit too high on the top here but it's you know it's a bit fiddly okay so you got all the stickiness you got the stretch and then you got to try find that right application whereas something like the Somnifex just straight on the like close the mouth straight on the lip so yeah it's not great and for ease of application, that also means like taking it off. It can, it, uh, you know, it, if you've got facial hair, it's not ideal either. Obviously with a moustache or a beard or something like that, it's going directly on all that hair. So that didn't hurt just then, but after a few hours of it being stuck, like I pull it off in the morning and I'm like, ouch, it's quite painful. So, hey, I can't give you the point there, my tape, sorry for uh, ease of application. Let's look at mess. So on the mess front, it's not too bad. You get a sheet like this with six um, strips on it, and that's it. You peel one off and, hey, you leave it on your bedside table or throw it in the bed. And um, there's no extra bits of packaging or paper or plastic, which is good. So on the mess front, it's not too bad. One thing I should mention though, is it can be tricky getting these off. And I should have touched on this before. This happened to me multiple times. So um, when I often pull them off, sometimes, I pull too low and the whole packaging comes up. And if you're doing that, you know, at night where you just want to go to sleep, it, it's another little frustrating point. So anyway, for mess, I'm going to give it the point because, hey, it's not too bad and there's not too much packaging wastage. So that is good. Next up we have, uh, can you talk with it? And this is a definite yes. I mean, it's super easy to talk and drink. And that is a big plus, uh, again, for some people. So you get the point there. And finally, travel friendly. Yes and no. I mean, hey, it looks ridiculous, but I mean, if you're going away for a couple of nights, you just grab one of these, fold them up, and away you go. So I'll give it the point there. So overall, for the for the other round, I'm going to give it uh, three out of five. So so overall, if we tally up the points, we come to a total of 17 out of 25. It's not the best score. There are better scores out there, um, but it definitely won't be the worst. The main thing with the myotape is whether you want to get a product that doesn't block your lips up. Like if you're very nervous about that. 
and or you want to use something during the day. For instance, maybe you're an athlete and you're doing endurance running and you want to really train nose breathing. I, I for instance, will leave some of these in the gym and if I am doing some, some endurance-based work, I'll probably put them on and, and give them a go. Because you can quickly take a drink of water or a big gasp of air, whereas if you tape it up while running, for instance, it can, yeah, you get it a little bit uncomfortable and you freak out a little bit and so does the brain. It's all a bit scary. So that is a good plus. Likewise, you can use it with the children. Um, whether it's going to do the job for you long term, it didn't for me. It didn't even do it in the short term. Um, so it may not be a permanent fix. You may use this and then go to something else. And uh, because of those issues I had, like um, getting it off the paper, the stickiness, um, the facial hair, like the pulling of the facial hair, how it looks, um, and even the fact that I was still waking up with a dry, dry, no, uh, dry mouth, I'm not going to continue using this product. Like I said, I'll use it in the gym. I may play around with it during the day sometimes when I know I, when I know no one else is around. But um, yeah, overall, hey, it's a, it's another product out there. It's probably not going to get another order from me, especially because I have a whole pack of them sitting here. But maybe you'll you'll do better if you've used this product before. Leave your comments below. What did you? How did you find it? Maybe it, maybe um, you've had a different experience to me. I'd love to hear it. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see my other videos comparing other mouth taping products, be sure to subscribe and also check out some of the links below because I have done a couple of these now and um, I will be doing more. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. 